Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be talking about XDC plus a lot more. We're going to be talking about PayPal leading crypto adoption. We will also cover the importance of ISO 20022 for XDC. We will then look at mega adoption of RWA from Zoth and Visa. And finally, we're going to be talking about the XDC volume, XDC's market cap and the XDC price. And we'll cover reasons why we aren't listed on major exchanges like Binance and Coinbase. So I hope you will watch to the end. We shall continue right after this intro. Looking at coin market cap, currently the total market cap is 2.19 trillion up by about one and a half percent. And as we can see from the rest of the markets, everything's pretty much ranging. We are pretty much in the red like we have been over the last few months. But I honestly believe from this month onwards, we are going to see a rise in utility. So why do I see the rise of utility happening from this month onwards? It's because of all the news that has been coming out recently, as you will see in today's video. A lot of big things are happening. A lot of big things are incoming, especially for things that XDC is already good at solving. So right now, when I look at the crypto markets, all I see is an opportunity. So guys, don't miss your chance. Looking at some important crypto news, PayPal's investments are leading the mass adoption of crypto payments. So PayPal, as you guys would already know, has been in the game for crypto for many years now. And what makes them stand out is their customers. They have 400 million customers worldwide and 36 million merchant accounts. And what makes PayPal stand out for me is that they already work within regulated environments across the globe. We already know that payments using cryptos are the future. We have been saying this for many years now on this channel. And when I see more and more players talking about crypto payments being the future, it just gives me more confirmation that we are on the right path and that we are holding the right cryptos because XDC, as you would already know, is not only looking into RWA, but also cross border value as well. A lot of the things that we struggle with today, cross-border trade and value, XDC is already attacking that. And in the future, we will see with XDC 2.0 being out, being the best blockchain, XDC is going to be an integral part of the future economy. And just a quick reminder, if you don't hold your own keys, guys, it's definitely not your crypto. Like me as well, I do not have all of my crypto on exchanges. Most of it is on a offline wallet. Decent is one of the best offline wallets I have ever used. They are doing a special event, a biometric wallet for only $89. Normally you would be paying $159 and this offer is going to run from tomorrow up till Sunday, October the 13th. So guys, don't miss out. This is your one and only chance to get a hardware wallet offline with your own keys for a massive discount, only 89 USD. So if you want to take advantage of this offer, guys, the link for this wallet will be on the top of the video right now in the description and in the comment section. So please help yourself and save your generational wealth. And just before we continue, guys, I have an Instagram account. Thank you to everybody who's come forward to follow me. The link is at the top of the video right now. Please click the link and follow me because I put a lot of good videos on there, a lot of good information related to crypto. So don't miss out. Looking at the XDC chart, currently XDC is hovering around three cents. So like the rest of the market, everything is pretty much on a downtrend and XDC is doing exactly what the rest of the market is doing. So there's nothing to worry about, right? It happens around this time of year. But as we go further down the year, going into 2025, guys, it's going to be explosive for utility especially for XDC and looking at the volume, the market cap and the XDC price, we're going to be diving into that towards the end of the video. So please stick around. Looking at it from Mr. Man, it's time to get you all up to speed. The ISO 20022 standard is going to be the new global standard for payments. So instead of going through all this information, I'm just going to round it up for you guys. Swift, as you already know, is already moving towards blockchain they know it's going to help them move payments much easily 
and they know blockchain is the future so they are already adopting this technology and most likely i do see that swift will be using a private company like blockchain companies that are out there today xdc xrp and a handful of others are going to be highly involved in making swift compliant because if it doesn't remain compliant then others will take over and as we see here they're going to start live transactions with swift in 2025 and like i always say 2025 it's gonna be a very important year for crypto adoption and regulation and as you can see from this overview of the iso standard adoption we are currently on the stage of planning migration by 2023 to 2025 as we know this standard has been delayed a number of times but eventually they will have to move forward because the economy as you can see the state of it across the world is pretty bad they need that reset most of the countries by 2025 before the end of 2025 shall we say are gonna be online with the new standard and i honestly believe just before then crypto is gonna be integrated into the new standard that's why they are iso compliant not everything is gonna be iso compliant you're not gonna have millions of cryptos which are gonna be able to meet that standard but xdc already meets that standard and iso is gonna be an integral part of the future economy it's gonna be helping move tons and tons of value so we shall see how this develops but it's looking positive for crypto and positive for the future of finance looking at a tweet from symmetry 7 zoth concludes two successful supply chain financing pilots in latin america funded by fxd on the xdc network blockchain and just before we look at some numbers and talk about these pilots as you can see xdc is a strategic partner of zoth which is very important because once again, XDC is that one only blockchain. So Zoth has told us that despite $6.25 billion of TVL locked in RWAs, there remains an untapped $120 trillion market waiting to be accessed by retail investors. So Zoth wants to bring in the ZEUSD to making RWAs more accessible to retail. And yes, my research has shown me that eventually, retail is going to have access to rwas because as you guys already know a lot of things are already going to be on the blockchain everything of value so retail will have certain access to it but what does zot want to do here let's have a look at this and the use cases for their stablecoin zeusd is going to allow us to borrow at lower rates utilize across DeFi and swap our stable coins in their liquidity pools and seamless access to high quality stable yields in a permissionless manner. And they are already working with many partners, as you can see, banks, layer ones, layer twos, TradeFi, interoperability layers, and so much more that they are not telling us here. But as we can see here, yes, retail are gonna have that access. It's gonna be better for us, in my opinion, to have access to these RWAs have access to borrowing because as we know xdc is not just helping the people at the top it's helping people in the middle as well and at the bottom of the chain the person who doesn't have access to liquidity the person who's running that business who doesn't have access to funds and has to go bankrupt this is a piece of a bigger puzzle guys as we know a lot of the value is going to be moving through blockchains in the future and with xdc attacking this market we know what their goals are they want to be number one they want to be the chosen one and they want to help the average person have access to finance and funds when they need it and zod coming in here is a good sign that retail are going to have their fair shot at being involved in the future of technology looking at we from symmetry 7 so we have visa one of the biggest payment providers in the world talking about tokenization the visa tokenized asset platform known as vtap is designed to help banks bring fiat currencies on chain in a safe seamless and efficient manner and we already know that we are highly connected to jp morgan consensus with how xdc was initially developed right so let's speculate what is xdc's involvement going to be in this tokenization platform that visa is creating pretty much a lot because we have deep down connections connections that a lot of people holding xdc have forgotten today these connections matter guys the foundations really matter because if the foundations are strong then the project is gonna flourish with all the years of research i've been doing on xdc that xdc pretty much has proper strong foundations strong connections from the very beginning so this is why i believe xdc is gonna flourish and it's gonna be involved with some of the biggest names as we already know jp morgan 
BlackRock, Securitize, just to mention a few. So guys, pay attention to what is happening and just sit back and enjoy the damn show because everything's happening as it needs to be. And eventually, I believe in the next couple of years, guys, it's going to be mainstream. So be ready. Let's now move on and talk about the XDC price, volume, market cap, and why we are not listed on the likes of Binance and Coinbase. Looking at a tweet from Jim Knox, very interesting movement on XDC. It's quietly climbing back up without much attention. It just broke out of his bullish falling wedge, and I'm looking forward to seeing a bigger reaction soon. Time for a tier one listing on Coinbase, Kraken, or Binance. So pay close attention to the volume. As you can see, it's 3.4 million. In my honest opinion, when I look at projects which are listed on Binance and Coinbase, a lot of research that I've done, I've concluded that the volume is very low to be listed on major exchanges because they make money off volume, right? So really, the volume would have to be at least a 10x to begin with. So it would have to be at least 35 million volume over the last 24 hours. The market cap would be at least a 10x, which would put it in the billions. And yes, then the price would have a similar effect. We would be looking at at least a 30 cent XDC. But guys, I believe we are getting there. We will eventually be listed on major exchanges. There is no doubt. We are listed on most of the exchanges in the world today. Some of the best ones. But some of the biggest ones are still denying XDC. Because they are listing meme coins, it's pretty damn surprising that XDC, on the other hand, is not listed. But I honestly put it down to facts and figures. I'm looking at volume. And I believe it's not just them putting off XDC because they don't want the world to know. It's also about volume. And looking at how many things we discussed in today's video and over the years, I think XDC's volume will be picking up when we are closer to the time. And I think next year from now, it's going to be explosive. So guys, buckle up and enjoy the damn show. And ensure your crypto is offline on a hardware wallet. Decent is one of the best wallets I've ever used. Buy yourself a discounted decent wallet while the offer still lasts. So guys, don't miss out.